Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm here to welcome you to a brand new series on my Mr. Luke Sports channel. And obviously, the rugby league stuff, we're all done with that. Moving on to Football Manager and FIFA, and um, this first video is going to be Football Manager going up today on the 18th. And uh, yeah, you can see I've created a club. It's called Luke FC in the title, the logo thing, Mr. Luke FC. And basically, I have replaced the uh, Wellington Phoenix. Now, sorry, Wellington Phoenix fans. Um, basically, the reason I picked the Wellington Phoenix is because I believe they're probably going to um, be getting sort of kicked out of the A-League, I'm pretty sure. So I thought, why not take over them and, you know, add my own team. Now, I kind of thought about, um, you know, getting rid of all the players and trying to start from scratch, but I thought that might be just a little bit too hard and, you know, we can maybe sell on some players and that sort of stuff, trying to slowly work our way up. But, um, you know, we've basically got, well, we have got the, the Wellington Phoenix squad to start off with. I haven't made any transfers, have made a few offers for loan, um, and also a lot of people, um, trial offers. Some people I'd like to bring in would be this Ronaldo or Compa. It's just a matter of whether they accept the transfer as well. Um, in the left wing spots, we don't have a left wing. Another person I'd love to bring in is uh, this Jalens dude, possibly. He looks pretty decent. Um, it's just, also, we've got to work with... Um, well, Adriano actually seems like a pretty good striker as well in terms of, you know, all the finishing. That physical is not great. His stamina, I believe he's a big fat dude now, but maybe he can get a few goals for us. I don't know, but um, basically in the A-League, I'll show you um, just to actually prove it. you got all these registration things. You can, you can got to meet certain requirements. Um, you can see maximum of two marquees in the squad. We don't have two marquee players, so I can bring in two guys. That's actually quite good. I didn't realize that at the time, so... I'm glad I've kind of come in and had a look at this, but you got you can only have five foreign players, and unfortunately, we've already got the five foreign players. I have been trying to offload one of them, maybe two of them, because Krishna doesn't look that good. Um, I mean, he seems decent, but I mean, if we can get someone else, that'd be great. Um, Sarpong can play left wing, so maybe we can move him to left wing, get another striker, possibly. Um, that's just another option. I mean, his finishing isn't great for a striker anyway, so... You know, maybe that might be a good move, but this Alejandro Rodriguez guy, um, he seems to kind of be, you know, it's just not that great. Um, as you can see, he's two-star ability at the moment. This is for A-League standards as well. You look at his stats, they aren't the greatest. I mean, passing, you know, he's a midfielder. He hasn't got great vision, that sort of stuff. And, you know, he's only going to be a backup at the moment. I mean, we've got, he's like fourth in line there, and he's taking up a foreign spot. He played 25 games from last year, which is quite a lot. Did come over from Sunderland, didn't play a game for them, but he did come from England, so he must be pretty decent. But at the same time, I'm not really feeling it. I might try to just cancel his contract if that's possible. But as you can see, I have listed him for transfer and loan, but no one has come back with an offer. So that's a little bit disappointing in terms of tactics. Um, these are the tactics I'm running with. Probably going to go over this one to start off with. Um, the attacking midfield. McGlinchey, we haven't actually got a left winger at the moment, which is a little bit annoying, but McGlinchey, I think he can do a decent job there. Um, we also got these ones, just different variations of it, really, uh, of that same tactic. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've kind of picked it because I think it's most suitable for us, so I consider we don't have, you know, we don't have too many strikers or anything. I mean, our second best striker is this power guy. As you can see, he's not the greatest, so, um, you know, hopefully we don't have to really use him too much. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this first game. Um, we are playing a friendly. I'll show the schedule for you. For some reason, this Perth Glory game, I didn't control that. I didn't even know we played it until just before. I was wondering why the players had um, an average rating, or some of them did anyways. And yeah, it turns out that's why we beat Perth Glory. Went through on penalties. So that's um that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, you can see we're playing two games in Italy, doing a little bit of a tour there. Although it's quite strange, this Taradale one is like a few days before the Central Coast one, so I'm not sure if I can cancel the friendly and, you know, play another side possibly a little bit earlier. I might do that, but I'll, I'll save that and I'll let you know what happens at a later date. Okay, so here's the lineup we're going to be uh, using for this first game against Padova. I don't know what league they're in. I should probably check what league. What are they in? Series C, A? I'm... How far down is that? So, maybe the next league, maybe like the second division. No, Serie B is second division, third division. Um, so, anyways, let's go ahead and submit our side. Um, all the players don't have peak fitness or anything. They're at 100%, which is good enough. Um, but we have picked everybody, every sub spot that we can. So, probably we'll make a few um, rotations and a few subs throughout the game. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you can see we're the favourites against Padova, 5-4. to four. Not that that really means too much. Um, I like to play on extended, um, the extended setting as well, so I can get a little bit more um, of a look at what's happening. Um, now, I just got to pause it for a second, need to check um, if the sound's on. Okay, so the sound is on. You can see both the lineups. I have no idea who any of those players are. 
Um, I'm not sure if we should hit them through the middle, go through the wings. I'm not really sure exactly. Um, I might just leave, you know, sort of, you know, not do too many things in the tactics at the moment. Um, just sort of try and feel how the team's actually going to go. But I think we can control this game. Um, I think we should go a bit fluid and hopefully just retain the possession, pass into space a little bit and play out of the fence. That's all I'm really going to do at this stage. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Actually, you know what? We need to do low crosses because that guy isn't going to win any big headers. Anyways, I don't really feel like we're going to fire up the team at all by doing a pep talk because I'm only a new coach. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into the game. So it's all on extended. We're all ready to go. So hopefully this is a pretty good game. Um, actually, I'll take these. Actually, you know what? We'll leave them on for now. I'll just make them a little bit smaller. As small as they can get. So far, actually, a pretty good bit of attacking here from us. Uh, just passing it around. Um, you know, not too bad. Bonavenetia might speed it up a little bit, actually. During the highlights. There we go. That should be that should be good. Gets it to Bonavenetia. Tried to play it through there, and it is cleared away by... Uh, what's the name? Padovan or something. Padova. That's it. And many musket on the ball here. What can he do? Plays it through to Krishna. Krishna has got a few players around. We've got a lot of people pushing forward, which could be good, could be bad. It depends if they hit us on the counter. This is actually a really long um, highlight. I know it's extended, but very, very long highlight. So, uh, yeah, Bonavenetia plays it through. Rufia or Rufa couldn't get to it. And that's the end of the highlight. That took an uh, age to get through that. But for Valley, gets it to Petrilli. All these Italian names are going to be the death of me here. Petrilli gets it to... Oh, that's a terrible shot by them. Terrible shot. Um, nothing, nothing major there. See, we've got 71% possession. It's only been like five minutes, so uh, not too bad. They're telling me to change it to um, more direct play, but I'm not going to do that. It's so early on. As you can see, the possession has um, has evened up here. That's terrible from us. Oh, that's a goal from them. What the fuck was that defending? That's fucking atrocious. Who lost their man just there? Who lost it? Durante, like, what are you doing? Supposed to be our best, supposed to be our best defender, and you just get fucking destroyed. Then I don't know what the hell happened. That was just terrible defending, and I'm actually quite, quite mad over that. It's, that was absolutely terrible, to be honest. Hopefully we can uh, whip in a nice ball here. Go back and get that Riera. Come on, come on, Riera. Oh no, that's fucking atrocious. What the hell are you guys doing, you fucktards? Durant, Durante getting smashed again there. Altinia. What's he going to do? Place it to Bezotti. Crosses it in. Sigmon sort of clears it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I can't believe that. How shit. Let's take a look at this. What a replay. Sigmon clears it. It wasn't the best, but Christian maybe could have done better. But what the fuck is Moss doing? He should be saving that. He was kind of standing towards there. I don't know what's to go there. Let's get some more shot, like shoot on sight. I don't believe their goalkeeper will be very good, so hopefully we can um, shoot on sight. Oh my god, what's going on? I need to do to tie to marking, I think. Oh, they actually missed a shot for once. Thank god. We're getting no shots away, though. We need to close down more. Tie to marking. So we're getting absolutely smashed here. Denoskos. Our defense isn't very good, by the way, as you can tell. Just in terms of ratings, like, both our fullbacks aren't very good. Um, Sarpong, what can you do? You got player there. Rieria plays it through. That's a good ball, Krishna. What the fuck, Krishna? Are you serious? I think I could have scored that one. I seriously think I could have scored that one, honestly. No joke. Serious. How the fuck did he miss that? I can't believe... Not even just missed it, but he missed by so far. I could at least understand if he took a shot and the keeper saved it or something like that, but... That was horrendous. Who's playing worse for our side? McGlinchey is not playing good. Um, I'm thinking we should play it through the middle. I should maybe change it to um, inside forwards and then play it through the middle. That could be a could be a tactic. Musket gets it to Krishna. Krishna has the ball stolen away from him, as he does uh, quite often, as I can tell throughout this game. So they're passing around the back. Come on, win it. There we go. Good work, Sigmund. Or Sigmund, I should say. Bonavacia, come on. McGlinchey, what can you do? Gets it to Sigmund. Oh, sorry, Sarpong. Rufa gets it. Riera. Oh, that's a good ball. How? Oh, you got to finish that. you got to finish that. Come on, man. All right, we need to make some settings. Uh, we need, yeah, more risky passes. 
move into the channels, I reckon. Um, what can he do? He needs to shoot more often. Actually, no, his shooting isn't good. Fuck. Uh, these guys need to... Okay, so they're already doing that. More risky passes. I thought we just scored then. I thought we just scored. Um, maybe they need to shoot more? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. don't know what to do. Uh, Bonavanesi, I need to go for more. He needs to go for more risky passes, I think. I don't think we've played terrible, so the fence have been lacking a little bit. Hopefully we can just sneak a goal here before half-time. That would be ideal for us, I reckon. Alright, come on, Riera. Gets the ball. Rufa. Plays it through. Krishna, come on. We've had so many chances. And we score. That's 2-1. That's a great little finish there, Krishna. Um, yeah, maybe maybe keep scoring and we'll keep you in the side. I won't tell you. And what I should do, but is change him to inside forwards. Because they pretty much kind of are playing like inside forwards anyways. Oh, actually... What do we do? You know, let's move into inside forwards just for the next half. We'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, they can keep making some nice little runs like they currently are doing. Getting in and behind. Wow, that'd be great if we can get another quick goal. That'd be sick. Rufa gets it to Musket. Or he plays it back, should say. Back to Rufa. Come on. Oh, they took that little, the little, uh, little flick pass just there. I believe that was a flick pass anyways. But it's back to the right. Back to Durant. Gets the ball. Durant, I should say. Bonavacia. That's a... Oh, that's a shit pass. What the fuck was that? Now they're going to hit us on the counter. Good work. Bonavacia. Bonavacia. I keep saying Bonavacia, but it's Bonavacia. And Sarpong is through. One on one. He shoots and he scores. It's two wall for half time. Holy shit. Wow, that was two quick goals. What was that first one scored? 43rd minute. Uh, that's great. Sarpong with a you know clinical finish just there. He hasn't had too many opportunities for us. He can see we're clawing our way back into the game. Shots on target. I think it might be due to the fact that we've changed it to shoot on sight. We've taken advantage of their keepers not being too good. And I believe we should just be able to take advantage of that in the A-League. I don't feel their keepers will be too good anyways. Okay, overall half time. Pretty good half. You can see here we've had all the possession. And we're playing away from home as well. So that's, you know, it's, it's quite positive that we're playing pretty decent. Honestly, the scoreline isn't the greatest. And we are playing a pretty poor um, side. But this is our first hit out. Um, we've had a few clear cut. We've had one clear cut chance as opposed to there none, and they did score some um, pretty nice goals. So I can't be too mad at the defense, but at the same time, well, that first goal was really bad. But you know, pretty happy. 77 percent uh, passes completed, tackles one are very very good. Um, and you know, we're getting um, some shots you know away now compared to what it was at the start of the game. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into the second half, and I'll see you then. Okay, need to get into uh, the actual field as opposed to that stats menu. Um, but hopefully we can continue where we finished off uh, from the first half. That's ideally what we'd want. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the substitutions. Um, might just swap everybody around. Just give them a bit of a hit out. Try and get their uh, their match fitness up. That might be the best thing we can do. Also, you know, maybe test out, I don't know, some center backs and that sort of stuff. Um, different rotations. But um, Rufa actually playing very, very good for us. I wasn't very happy having him at the cam spot. But um, he actually is doing, you know, a pretty solid job at the moment. So... Uh, I, know, I know it's only early days, um, playing some pretty poor sides at the moment. And that's a great ball. Oh, he should have finished that. Oh, my God, the follow-up could have been finished as well. Come on, Bonavacia, get the ball. Rufa, Rufa playing it backwards, and that's pretty much the end of the play, you would think. No, that's not where the highlight finishes, and that is that's a terrible pass there. Um, but nine shots on, on goal now. Um, that's pretty good. Michael McGlinchey has been an awful for us, I believe. He has 5.9. You look at everybody else who's played in that... Uh, in the attacking positions, they're all in like the eights and that sort of stuff. And there's McGlinchey with a 5.9. That's uh, pretty, really, really bad. Maybe you can get a goal here, possibly. McGlinchey shoots and he scores. I uh, called it. He scored a goal. And uh, there you go. Michael McGlinchey puts us ahead. Um, we did very, very well to turn this game around. I suppose it is to be um, expected. But we weren't heavy favourites or anything. So it is nice that we are, we're playing quite well here. I might actually tell us to play through the middle. Um, exploit the middle because that seems to be where we're scoring all of our goals anyways but uh Dinoscus with a throw in Durante what the fuck are you doing it's going to be a goal here oh Moss with a great save there but what is Durante doing he's maybe been our worst player on the side I know I know why um, McGlinchey hasn't had the best of games but Durante like first goal was conceded um, because of him the second goal I oh, sorry the third goal nearly conceded because of him just there as well but thankfully Moss comes up with a big save there um, actually, I probably should put a little bit more on Donoskis for doing the throw into him. But uh, I think we might look for a few stubs here. Um, probably not the best menu to look at, considering I don't know all the players. 
Um, we might put on Italiano, throw him on. Place the keeper Rodriguez will throw him on in the deep line playmaker position. Um, this Leo guy, he's a ball winning midfielder, but we play him as a box to box, like we're doing before. Um, with who got his name? Riera. Uh, we'll throw on Blake Powell at striker. We need to get someone off from McGlinchey, I believe. Actually, you know what? Sarpong can move to the inside forward. And we'll move Black Power to Striker. Because I want to see what Sarpong can do in that inside forward position. I think at the moment that might be all I do uh, for right now. There's this Logan guy. Actually, he seems to be quite good. Um, at least he's got more potential anyways. Oh, his finishing is atrocious. Is he really a striker? Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know how he's a striker with that sort of finishing, but he is. Let's get Fox on for Durant. Durant, hey, whatever his name is. Fenton, possibly. Put on Fenton for Musket. And that's all the subs will do at the moment. Um, yeah, hopefully we can hold on to this lead. It's not a huge thing. Like, we don't need to win this game, but it'd just be nice to get off to a winning start. Uh, and also get the morale boosted in our side because morale is actually, believe it or not, morale is one of the more important things um, on Football Manager. Just keeping everybody in a positive mindset um, will go a long way to uh, to winning games and winning winning leagues and that sort of stuff. But uh, it's Alari on the ball here. Corti. What's Corti going to do with it? He gets a ball. Come on, that's good stuff there. Good work to Noskis. Sarpong plays it upfield to a nobody as he gets intercepted by Makolo, whatever his name is. Dionisi plays a great ball there. Ilari, that should be covered by Fox as it is. Rodriguez gets it to Leah. Leah plays a great ball. It's power chasing through here. Come on, power. What can you do? Blake Power. I believe I saw you on FIFA a few FIFAs ago on the free agents. That's a great ball. Krishna. Oh my god, you gotta get better. You gotta get a better shot away there. Great play, but that was an incredible play. Christian is really impressing me in this game, um, i got to say. I'll see how he goes the rest of the preseason, but like I said, he's really impressing me um, at the moment. Oh, that's a great ball through. What are you going to do? Come on, Moss, or whoever it is. That's a fucking phenomenal finish. I forgot um, we don't have Moss in at keeper at the moment. Italiano, there's nothing he could have done. That was a fucking sick pass. Sigmund, it's our experienced centre back is getting caught out here. Although, look at this guy, a left back playing him on side. That's a uh, terrible work there. That's Donaskus' fault right there, I believe. He's the one who played him on side. Uh, I did blame it on the centre back, but I yeah, don't believe it's his fault. We need to um maybe offside try it possibly. We're not going to have time to do that. Hopefully this is a, an opportunity for us here, as opposed to them. And if it is, please don't score, guys. Um, Cordy gets it to Gianna Donato or something. I don't know. That was totally butchered their name. Dionisi up the right wing there. What's he going to do? Come on, you got to tackle him. Oh no. Oh, it's a great save, Italiano. I thought there's a little bit of a, a freeze in the screen for me, and usually when that happens, it's a goal. So I was uh, kind of expecting a goal to be scored there. But as you can see, our defense has been awful. But hopefully that will be worked out soon. Rodriguez, what can you do? He tried to uh, look like a little bit of a uh, play shot. Maybe should have just banged it in. I don't know. 81st minute, but Sarpong, what can you do with the corner? That's Oh, that's not too bad. Fox, um, he got on the end of it, just couldn't really do anything with it. Uh, however, it is a goal kick to them. Come on, guys. Come on. Do we go all-out attack? We've got to go overload. Because I think that's going to be their chance anyways. Take more risks. There we go. Fox couldn't make the pass off, but he's going to intercept that one. And he's taken off in. Come on, get up. Get up. Oh, no. All right. Thank God. They took a really, really shit um, shit shot there. Anyways, um, we've gone all-out attack pretty much here. Uh, not pretty much. We have gone out all-out attack. Some players are a little bit tired. Some players aren't. Um... Maybe we can get a chance. I don't know. It's actually been a very, very even game. Three all seems about right. It's going to be one more opportunity before full-time. Rodriguez, what can you do? That's a pretty decent ball there. That's whipped in. Sarpong offside. And that should be game over, you would think. Um, it is going to be game over. There's going to be no more chances. Just because it's extended, it will, uh, it will give a little bit of extended highlight before full-time. Fenton, maybe we can get it one more opportunity. Krishna with the overlapping run there. This ball's whipped in there. It's not a great ball, let's be honest. There was nobody in the box there waiting for him. Rodriguez on the ball, what can he do? Gets it back out to Fenton. Fenton whips it in again. Sarpong can't get ahead of him, but is he offside? No, he's onside. Sarpong, what can he do? Nothing with it. That's exactly what he can do. Um, yeah. Our attacking was actually pretty good that game. I thought our attack was quite good. It's just our defense left a lot to be desired. And I've got to say, defense always seems to be a huge problem with me on Football Manager. I just, whatever I do, I just can't get them to defend very well. But uh, Krishna and uh, Rufa, Rafa, whatever... They were the standouts for me, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Krishna could have finished a lot more in the first half, but he did calm a light in the second half and towards the back end of the first half when we equalised. 
um, very, very quickly. Um, you know what, I'm going to say I'm happy with that performance. I thought that was pretty good. Everybody is delighted. So, um, yeah, very, very even game. You see, we had way more possession, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm not sure if that's the ideal tactic for the A-League, but I'm going to go possession-based to start off with at least. And also, I think, hang on, who's this? Savio. Oh, yeah, we've brought in a scout because we don't actually have a scout um, beforehand, believe it or not, which is quite strange, a scout. Usually something that... um. I thought all teams kind of had, but yeah, we didn't have a scout at all. Maybe it's because I created a new team, I'm not really sure, but yeah, we actually didn't have a scout, which was uh, which is quite weird. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end this video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. I thought it was a pretty entertaining game, in my opinion. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you share it around for um, other people. Uh, maybe people who are fans of the A-League, well into Phoenix fans, I don't know how happy they'll be, but maybe share it with all them and, uh, you know, get them to take a look at it. I'm uh, trying to change over Football Manager, so... Every uh, little bit of help um, really helps me a lot, really goes a long way. Anyways, that's where the video's going to end. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel as well. Follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT. Fake the page in the description below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.